What's up everybody? This is my 83 Pontiac Trans Am. Just figured I'd make a walk around video. This car is going to be the focus of all of my uh, all my videos that I upload to YouTube. factory 305 crossfire injection um, don't mind how dirty the car is it is a daily driver I drive it about 50 miles round trip every day to work and back uh, 146,000 miles factory air t-tops um, the focus of these videos though is going to be uh, the crossfire injection um, I've always wanted to I guess make a channel that's kind of dedicated to the crossfire since there aren't any on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet. Um, I've been into these cars for 25 years. Um, I've had multiple crossfire cars and um, they're probably the most misunderstood fuel injection system probably in the last 35, 40 years. Like I said, most misunderstood and, and least understood. Um, I've had a total of 16 third generation Trans Ams. Um, as I said, multiple. A bunch of those have been Crossfire cars. Um, so I just want to give a little, little introduction video and everything about the car and everything and, and kind of what the, what the channel is going to be about. Um, in my opinion, they're extremely simple systems um, in terms of just existing parts. Um, they're really no different than the later 305, 350 throttle body injected engines and F bodies, B bodies, trucks, etc. I mean, you still got two injectors, you got one throttle position sensor, um, it's still a low low fuel pressure system um, GM rates these rated these at 9 to 13 psi um, mine is pretty much all for the most part stock um, just mild stuff I've done to it over the over the time I've had it um, I've, I've ported the base because anybody that knows crossfire injection motors is aware of the fact that the intake runners are two-thirds of the size of a standard 305, 350, uh, any any small block, um, 283, 327, etc. Um, I opened up the base a little bit, um, shortened up the runners, um, bumped the fuel pressure up to 14 psi, um, bumped the ignition timing up to uh, about 12, 13 degrees base timing up from the stock six. Um, they really, really, really do respond well to, to minor modifications. Um, the 67 Chevelle, I put an LS in last year. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I drive this car every single day. Um, I average about 17 miles per gallon city and about 24, 25 miles per gallon highway. Um, that's with a 700 R4, 323 gears. Um, you know, they're really, really, really simple systems, and they kind of came out in a, in a period of time where fuel injection as a whole was unknown, you know, and I guess a lot of people wanted to treat them like carburetors, adjust them like carburetors, even down to the idle speed, and, you know, anybody that knows anything about crossfires understands you, you can't do that. There's a procedure for even minor adjustments on these things, but once they're set up, um, I mean, they're... They're as reliable as anything else out there. They're as reliable as a tune port, uh, reliable as a, they're probably more reliable than an LT1 because of the Optus Spark on those, but we're not going to get into that. But uh, like I said, I drive the car every single day. Um, you know, it's a lifelong Arizona car. Any, any problem I've ever had with a car, any of these cars that I've had, uh, like I said, I've owned 16 of these, um, was never Crossfire related. So, you know, I figured um, since the information 
out there is few and far between on these things. I figured I would, uh, you know, kind of put together a little channel and, um, you know, what what little number of these cars is still on the road. Um, you know, I figure uh, hopefully with my information that I plan to upload, you know, keep them on the road. Because um, like I said, it's, you know, anymore everything is, oh, just, just rip it out, LS swap it, you know, rip the fuel injection off, put a carburetor on it. You know, I mean, that going carbureted is going back in time because as primitive as this fuel injection system is comparatively to newer systems, um, you know, carburetors are they're over a hundred year old technology, you know. Um, you know, and like I said, I got nothing against LS swaps or anything. I did my 67 Chevelle last year. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not at all against them, but I've always, I've always liked these crossfires. Um, I've always been drawn to them. They're, you know, they're super easy to work on. Um, you know, all you really need to, to do anything to them is a voltmeter and, um, you know, a water manometer to balance the throttle bodies, um, which is a must, but that can be made with pretty much a $2 yardstick and six feet or so of clear clear uh, vacuum tubing. Um, you know, they're, uh, like I said, this thing, uh, it's never let me down. Um, when I got the car, I did put a, um, I did put a new fuel pump in it. Um, but aside from that, you know, everything is, is pretty much, you know, as GM put it together. Um, I have had the throttle body, both throttle bodies obviously rebushed. Um, but I mean, aside from that, the ported base, the bump timing, the bump fuel pressure. Um, I am running, you know, for you, for you third gen guys, I am running um, a complete L98 exhaust system, uh, manifolds. Three inch magna flow wide pipe and a, uh, a three inch cat back. Uh, but other than that, like I said, it's all stock. Um, it runs runs super strong. It's run it's it runs stronger than some of the uh, the tune port 350 cars that I've had over the years. Um, you know, for what that's worth, it's uh, for a 305. It really really runs good, um, and I got no complaints. Like I said, I've had had multiple Crossfire cars, and you know, this won't be my last. But uh, you know, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick introduction video. Um, you know, this, this car will be the focus of all the videos that I plan to upload. Um, everything from diagnosing to simple stuff like TPS adjustment, fuel pressure adjustment, ignition timing adjustment, um, up to and including sinking, balancing the throttle bodies. So um, if you guys got any suggestions as far as what you want to see featured in a video, um, any kind of how-tos or explanations of anything, uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, um, you know, and uh, we'll go from there and I, uh, I'll get the videos rolling. All right.